Are you close with your family? Hey, Abby, are you close with your family? Yeah, I am. I talk to my parents almost every day and my siblings are my best friends. That's nice. How about you? Are you close to your family? Yeah, I am. We have a family group chat where we update each other on everything that's happening in our lives. We also have a monthly family dinner where we catch up and spend quality time together. That's really cool. I wish my family was like that. Why don't you try to reach out to them more often? I'm sure they would appreciate it. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll give it a shot. Do you have any family traditions? Hey Abby, do you have any family traditions? Yeah, we have a tradition of making pizzas together every Friday night. It started a few years back when we all realized how much we love pizza. That sounds like fun. Do you make the pizza from scratch? Yes, we make the dough and the sauce from scratch. And then we all add our favorite toppings. That's awesome. My family doesn't have any such tradition. But we do have a tradition of going on a family vacation every year. Oh, that's cool. Where do you go usually? We usually go to the beach. It's a great way for us to spend time together and relax. Yeah, I can see why that would be a fun tradition. Who is your best friend? Hey, Abby. What's up? Not much, just hanging out. What about you? Same here. Hey, I was curious. Who do you consider your best friend? That's an easy one. Without a doubt, it's you, man. We've been through so much together, I can't imagine anyone else taking your place. Thanks, man. Likewise, you know you're my best friend too. Absolutely. It's always a good time when we're together. How did you meet your best friend? Hey Abby, do you remember how we met? Of course, I do. We were in the same math class in high school. Yeah, and we were both struggling with the subject. I remember we started talking about our mutual hatred for math. Ha ha, yeah. And then we both started cracking jokes about it, and we just hit it off. And since then, we've been inseparable. I can't imagine not having you as my best friend. Same here, buddy. You're like a brother to me. What do you and your friends like to do together? Hey Abby, what do you and your friends like to do together? Oh, we usually play basketball or soccer. Sometimes we just hang out at someone's house and watch movies. That's cool. My friends and I usually go out to eat, play video games, or go to the beach. Going to the beach sounds fun. Do you guys surf? Yeah, some of us do. We also like to swim and play beach volleyball. Nice. I haven't played beach volleyball in ages. We should all get together and do that sometime. Definitely. That sounds like a plan. Do you think it's important to have friends? Hey Abby, do you think it's important to have friends? Of course, man. Friends are like a support system. They will have your back no matter what. Yeah, that's true. I used to think that I don't need friends and can do everything on my own. But after some time, I realized that having friends is important for mental peace. Absolutely. It's not just about having fun and hanging out. It's about having people you can rely on and share your thoughts with. I agree. I feel so much better after talking to my friends about my problems. That's the thing. Friends listen to you without judgment and give you advice. They help you become a better person. That's a good point. I guess I should start being more open to making new friends. Definitely, man. You won't regret it. What qualities do you value in a friend? Hey Abby, what qualities do you value in a friend? Hmm, that's a good question. I think honesty and loyalty are the most important to me. I totally agree with you on that. I also think having a good sense of humor is important. 
Life can be tough and it's great to have someone who can make you laugh. Yes, laughter is the best medicine. I also appreciate friends who are supportive and understanding. That's true. It's important to have someone who listens and offers encouragement when you need it most. Definitely, and it's important to be that kind of friend too. It goes both ways. Absolutely. I'm glad we share the same values in friendship. Me too, Alfie. Have you ever had a falling out with a friend? Hey Abby, long time no see. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. How about you? I'm good too. Listen, I wanted to talk to you about something. Do you remember when we had that big argument last year? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for how I acted. I was really immature and I let my emotions get the best of me. I hope we can put it behind us and be friends again. I appreciate that, Alfie. I was also being stubborn and not willing to see your perspective. I'm sorry too. Let's forget about it and start fresh. That's great to hear. How about we grab a beer tonight and catch up on everything that's happened since we last saw each other? Sounds like a plan. See you later. How did you resolve a conflict with a friend? Hey Abby, can we talk for a sec? I feel like we have some unresolved issues. Yeah sure, what's up? I want to apologize for the way I acted the other day. I shouldn't have ignored you like that. It's all good, man. I was also being stubborn and didn't try to understand where you were coming from. That's true, but I also could have communicated better. I think we both need to work on our communication skills. Agreed. So are we good now? Yeah, definitely. Let's grab a beer after work and catch up. Sounds like a plan. Do you have any childhood friends? Hey Abby, do you have any childhood friends that you still keep in touch with? Yeah, I have a couple. How about you? Same here. I actually just caught up with one of them last weekend. It's funny how we can still pick up right where we left off. I know, right? It's like no time has passed at all. Who did you catch up with? My friend from elementary school, Mark. We used to play basketball together all the time. Oh, I remember Mark. He was really good at basketball. Yeah, he still is. It was really great to catch up with him and reminisce about old times. How long have you known your closest friend? Hey Abby, do you remember when we first met? Of course. It was in second grade, so we've known each other for about 20 years now. Yeah, crazy how time flies. You're my closest friend, man. Same to you, Alfie. It's been a wild ride, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Definitely. Remember when we used to play hide-and-seek in the park every weekend? Oh man, those were the days. Do you still have that old football we used to play with? Haha, <laughs> yeah I do. It's all beat up now, but I can't bring myself to throw it out. Me neither. It's like a piece of our childhood that we can hold on to. Exactly. Here's to 20 more years of crazy memories, my friend. You got it. Do you have any long-distance friends? Hey Abby, do you have any long-distance friends? Yeah, I do. Most of them are from my college days. We all live in different parts of the world now. That's cool. I have a friend who lives in Australia. We met when he was here for work. Oh, wow. Do you guys keep in touch often? Yeah, we do. We catch up on video calls every couple of weeks. It's nice to have someone to talk to from a different part of the world. I know what you mean. It's always interesting to hear about different cultures and experiences. Definitely. Plus, it's nice to have someone to visit if I ever make it down to Australia. That's true. Long-distance friendships can be just as meaningful as those with people nearby. Who is the funniest person in your family? You know who's the funniest person in our family? It's definitely Dad. 
What? No way. I think it's Uncle Jerry. He always cracks me up at family gatherings. Uncle Jerry? I don't find him that funny. But remember the time Dad dressed up as Santa and pretended to get stuck in the chimney? That was hilarious. Yeah, that was pretty funny. But for me, nothing beats the time Uncle Jerry did impressions of all the family members. He had us all in stitches. I guess it's just a matter of personal taste. But one thing's for sure, our family is full of comedians. Who is the most serious person in your family? Abby, who do you think is the most serious person in our family? Hem, that's a tough one. I would say it's probably Dad. He's always focused on work and making sure everything is in order. Yeah, that's true. But I think Mom is pretty serious too. She's always worrying about us and making sure we're doing well in school and everything. I guess you're right. But I feel like I'm pretty serious too sometimes. Laughs, yeah, I know. But you're also the most fun person in the family, so you balance it out. Who is the most adventurous person in your family? Hey, Abby, have you ever thought about who is the most adventurous person in our family? Hmm, I don't know. Is it you? Me? No way. I mean, I like trying new things, but I wouldn't say I'm the most adventurous. Then who do you think it is? Honestly, I think it's our cousin Jake. He's always traveling to new places and trying crazy things like skydiving and bungee jumping. Yeah, I guess you're right. I remember when he went backpacking through South America by himself. That takes some serious guts. Definitely. I think we could all learn a thing or two from him about stepping outside our comfort zones. Who is the most artistic person in your family? Hey, Abby, did you see the painting that mom did last night? Yeah, it was nice. But you know who is the most artistic person in our family, right? Who? It's grandma. She has been painting since she was young and she even had some of her works exhibited in galleries. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, she's really good. Remember that portrait she did of us when we were kids? It's still hanging in the living room. Oh yeah, I love that painting. I wish I had inherited her skills. Maybe you did. Remember the drawing you did last week? It was amazing. Thanks, but I still have a long way to go before I can catch up with Grandma. Who is the most athletic person in your family? Hey Abby, who do you think is the most athletic person in our family? Definitely you, Alfie. You're always playing sports and going to the gym. Thanks, but I think Dad might give me a run for my money. He used to be a track star in college. True but he hasn't really kept up with his fitness like you have. Plus, you're always up for a game of basketball or soccer. I guess I do love staying active. What about you? Do you have any interest in sports or fitness? Not really. I prefer more low-key activities like hiking or yoga. But it's cool to see how passionate you are about it. Who is the most intelligent person in your family? Hey, Abby. Who do you think is the most intelligent person in our family? Hem, that's a tough one. I'd say it's probably our cousin Emily. She's a doctor and always top of her class. Yeah, she's definitely smart, but I think it's actually our Uncle Tom. He's a lawyer and has won some really tough cases. Oh yeah, I forgot about Uncle Tom. He's definitely up there. But what about Aunt Jane? She's a professor and has published a lot of research papers. That's true, Aunt Jane is really smart too. I guess we just have a lot of intelligent people in our family. Yeah, we're lucky like that. Who is the most outgoing person in your family? Hey, Abby. Who do you think is the most outgoing person in our family? Hmm, let me think. I would say it's you, Alfie. You're always the life of the party. Really? I thought mom was the most outgoing one. 
Nah, she's more of an introvert. You're the one who always initiates conversations, cracks jokes, and gets everyone excited. Remember that time when you danced on the table at Aunt Sally's wedding? Oh, yeah. That was fun. But I think you're pretty outgoing too, Abby. You're always up for trying new things and making friends. A.W., thanks, Alfie. I guess we both got it from Dad, huh? Yeah, that's for sure. He's the king of dad jokes and puns. Ha ha, yeah. We're lucky to have such a fun family. Who is the most reserved person in your family? Hey, Abby, who do you think is the most reserved person in our family? Hmm, I'd say it's Grandpa. He's always quiet and doesn't really talk much, you know. Yeah, I can see that. But I was thinking more in our generation. Maybe Aunt Susan? Really? I always thought she was just shy around us. But now that you mention it, she does keep to herself a lot. Exactly. And she's not very talkative when we're all together for family dinners. Yeah, I guess you're right. But hey, it's okay to be reserved. It's just part of who they are. Yeah, I know. It's just interesting to observe our family dynamics. Who is your role model in your family? Hey Abby, who is your role model in your family? Definitely my dad. He's always been hardworking and dedicated to providing for us. Yeah, I feel the same way about my mom. She's always been so supportive and encouraging even when things get tough. That's great to hear. It's important to have someone to look up to and aspire to be like. Definitely. I hope I can be as strong and caring as my mom when I have a family of my own. Same here. It's all about taking the best qualities from those we admire and making them our own. Who is your role model outside of your family? Hey Abby, do you have a role model outside of your family? Yeah, I do. It's Elon Musk. Oh, really? What do you admire about him? His perseverance, innovation, and his dedication to making the world a better place. Plus, he's not afraid to take risks. That's true. He's accomplished so much with SpaceX, Tesla, and Solar City. Yeah, he's definitely someone I look up to. I can see why. My role model is actually JK. Rowling. Oh, why is that? Well, she started out with nothing but she never gave up on her dream of becoming a writer. And now, she's one of the most successful authors of all time. That's really inspiring. I love her Harry Potter series. Me too. It's amazing how her imagination created such a magical world. Do you have any cousins? Hey Abby, do you have any cousins? Yeah, I have a lot actually. I have eight cousins on my mom's side and five on my dad's side. Wow, that's a big family. Do you see them often? Not really, most of them live in different states. But we try to get together for holidays and special occasions. That's nice. I only have one cousin and he lives in another country, so I don't get to see him often either. Yeah, it can be tough when family members are far away. But it makes it even more special when you do get to spend time together. Do you have any nieces or nephews? Hey Abby, do you have any nieces or nephews? Yeah, I have two nieces and a nephew. They are all cute and adorable. That's great. How old are they? The older niece is five years old, the younger one is three years old, and my nephew is just one year old. Ah, uh, they must be so much fun to be around. Definitely. They keep me busy and entertained whenever I visit them. I can imagine. I don't have any nieces or nephews yet, but I am looking forward to having some in the future. You'll love it when you do. There's nothing quite like being an uncle or aunt. Do you have any godparents? Hey, Abby. Do you have any godparents? Yeah, my aunt and uncle are my godparents. What about you? Same year. My uncle and aunt are my godparents as well. That's cool. 
Do you see them often? Not really. They live far away, so we only see them during special occasions. Yeah, same here. We only see them during family gatherings. It's nice to know that they're there for us though. Definitely. It's good to have someone who can guide you and support you. Do you have any pets? Hey Abby, do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a dog named Max. He's a golden retriever. Oh wow, that's cool. I have a cat named Whiskers. She's a bit of a diva though. Haha, ha, I know what you mean. Dogs can be pretty demanding too. Yeah, but they are worth it. They make great companions. Do you take Max for walks often? Definitely. He loves going for walks and it's good exercise for both of us. Yeah, I should probably start taking Whiskers for walks too. She's been getting a bit chubby. Ha ha, yeah you should. It's important to keep them healthy. What is your favorite memory with your family? Hey Abby, do you remember our family trip to the beach when we were kids? Of course, that was one of my favorite memories. We had so much fun building sandcastles and swimming in the ocean. Yeah, and remember when Dad took us on a boat ride and we saw dolphins jumping out of the water? That was amazing. And then we had a big barbecue on the beach for dinner. I remember that. Mom made her famous potato salad and we had grilled burgers and hot dogs. And we stayed up late playing board games and telling ghost stories around the campfire. That was the best. I wish we could go back and do it all over again. Me too. Those were some of the happiest times of my life. What is your favorite memory with your friends? Hey Abby, do you remember that time we went on a road trip to the beach? Of course, man. That was such a blast. We were singing our hearts out to every song on the radio. Yeah, and we even got lost on the way there, but it didn't even matter because we were having so much fun. I still can't believe we managed to fit all of our stuff in your tiny car. Ha ha, me neither. But that just made it all the more memorable. And remember when we finally got to the beach and we had a bonfire and stayed up all night? That was the best part. We talked about everything and anything until the sun came up. I'll never forget that night. Who do you go to for advice? Hey, Abby, who do you usually go to for advice? Hmm, it depends on the situation. If it's about work, I usually ask my boss or a senior colleague. But if it's something personal, I go to my close friends or family. That makes sense. I usually go to my mom for everything, but sometimes I also ask my friends. It just depends on the topic. Yeah, it's important to have a support system you can rely on. But ultimately, you have to trust your own instincts. Totally agree. Thanks for sharing, Abby. No problem, Alfie. Anytime. Who do you turn to for emotional support? Hey Abby, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, what's up? I've been feeling really down lately, and I just need someone to talk to. Can I count on you for emotional support? Absolutely, man. You know I'm always here for you. What's been going on? It's just been a lot of stress at work, and some personal stuff too. It's been hard to handle on my own. I get it. Sometimes it's hard to ask for help, but I'm glad you reached out. You can always rely on me for emotional support, no matter what. Thanks, that means a lot to me. Who is the most reliable person in your life? Hey Abby, who do you think is the most reliable person in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. I'd probably say my mom. She's always been there for me no matter what. Yeah, moms are usually pretty reliable. For me, it's definitely my best friend. Tom. He's been my rock for years. That's awesome. It's so important to have someone you can count on. Definitely. So, what makes your mom so reliable? She's just always been there, you know? Whenever I need advice or help with something, she's the first one I go to. 
Plus, she's never broken a promise or let me down. That's really great. It's good to have someone like that in your life. Who is the most generous person in your life? Hey Abby, who do you think is the most generous person in your life? Hmm, it's a tough one. I would say my grandma. She always gives me money for my birthday and Christmas, and she's always there to help me out when I need it. Yeah, grandmas are always pretty generous. For me, it's definitely my dad. He's always willing to lend me money if I need it, and he's always buying me and my siblings little gifts for no reason. That's really nice of him. Have you ever tried to repay him for his generosity? Yeah, I try to do nice things for him whenever I can. Like, I'll cook him dinner or offer to help him with something he needs done around the house. It's not much, but I know he appreciates it. Who is the most stubborn person in your life? You know who's the most stubborn person in my life? My dad. He never listens to anyone else's opinion. Oh, I know what you mean. For me, it's my little sister. She always thinks she knows better than everyone else. Yeah, it's frustrating when someone refuses to listen to reason. My dad can be so set in his ways, it's like talking to a brick wall. It's the same with my sister. Sometimes I just have to give up and let her do things her own way, even if I know it won't work. I hear you. But I think it's important to keep trying to communicate with stubborn people. Maybe one day they'll see things from a different perspective. Who is the most patient person in your life? Hey Abby, can I ask you something? Sure, what's up? Who do you think is the most patient person in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. I would have to say my mom. She's always patient with me and my siblings, even when we're being difficult. That's a good answer. For me, it's probably my dad. He's always been patient with me, even during my rebellious teenage years. Yeah, parents have to be pretty patient with us, don't they? Definitely. But I think it's also important to be patient with ourselves and others. It makes life a lot easier. I couldn't agree more. Who is the most understanding person in your life? Hey Abby, who do you think is the most understanding person in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. But if I had to choose, I'd say it's my girlfriend. She always listens to me and tries to understand my perspective. Yeah, having someone who can empathize with you is really important. For me, it's definitely my mom. She's always been there for me and knows how to comfort me during tough times. That's great to hear. It's really important to have someone in your life who can be understanding and supportive. Who is the most forgiving person in your life? Hey Abby, who do you think is the most forgiving person in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think it has to be my mom. She always forgives me no matter what trouble I get myself into. Ah. Uh. That's sweet. For me, it's definitely my grandma. She has this amazing ability to forgive and forget. Even when I mess up big time, she always gives me a second chance. That's great to hear. You're lucky to have someone like that in your life. Yeah, I know. I'm really grateful for her. Who is the most loyal person in your life? Hey Abby, who is the most loyal person in your life? That's easy, it's my best friend from childhood. She's always been there for me, through thick and thin. Yeah, I can understand that. For me, it's my dog. He's always by my side, no matter what. He's like my shadow. Laughs, I can't argue with that. Dogs are incredibly loyal. But don't forget about your human friends too. Of course not but there's something special about the loyalty of a pet. They don't judge you or hold grudges. They just love you unconditionally. Smiling, that's true. I can see why your dog is the most loyal person in your life. Who is the most honest person in your life? Hey Abby, who do you think is the most honest person in your life? That's a tough one. I would have to say my mom. She always tells me the truth even if it's something I don't want to hear. That's nice. 
For me, it's definitely my best friend. He's never lied to me and always tells it like it is. Yeah, having someone like that in your life is really valuable. Definitely. It's important to have people who you can trust and who will always be honest with you. Who is the most respectful person in your life? Hey Abby, who's the most respectful person in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. I would say my grandpa. He always treats everyone with kindness and respect. That's really nice to hear. For me, it's definitely my mom. She's always been respectful towards everyone, even when she doesn't necessarily agree with them. That's great to hear. It's important to have someone like that in your life. Absolutely. It makes me want to be a better person too. Do you have any friends from different cultures? Hey Abby, do you have any friends from different cultures? Yeah, I do. I have a friend from India, another from Japan and one from Brazil. What about you? Well, I have a friend from Uganda, one from Mexico and another from China. It's nice to have friends from different backgrounds, you get to learn a lot from them. Yeah, definitely. I remember my friend from India taught me how to cook some traditional meals, it was delicious. That's awesome. My friend from Mexico showed me how to dance salsa, it was so much fun. How does your family celebrate holidays? Hey, Abby. What are your family's plans for the upcoming holidays? Well, we usually have a big family dinner on Christmas Eve. My grandma makes the best turkey and stuffing. That sounds amazing. What else do you guys do? On Christmas Day, we exchange gifts in the morning, and then spend the day playing board games and watching movies together. Oh, and we always have a big breakfast with pancakes and bacon. That sounds like so much fun. My family usually just has a small dinner on Christmas Day, but we do go all out for New Year's Eve. We have a big party with friends and family, and we stay up until midnight to watch the fireworks. That sounds awesome. I've always wanted to go to a big New Year's party. Have you ever had a surprise party for someone? Hey Abby, have you ever thrown a surprise party for someone? Yeah, I have. It was for my best friend's birthday last year. Oh, that's cool. How did you manage to keep it a secret? It was pretty tough, to be honest. I had to coordinate with all our friends and make sure nobody spilled the beans. But it was worth it to see the look on her face when she walked into the party. That's awesome. I've never thrown a surprise party before, but I've been to a few. They're always so much fun. Definitely. Just make sure you have a good excuse to get them there without giving it away. Good tip. I might have to plan one soon. Have you ever thrown a party for someone? Hey Abby, have you ever thrown a party for someone? Yeah, I have. It was my cousin's birthday last month, so we threw him a surprise party. That's nice. I threw a small gathering for my sister's graduation last year. Oh. That's cool. How did it go? It was fun. We had some snacks, drinks, and played some games. My sister loved it. That sounds great. I've been thinking of throwing a party for my friend's engagement. You should go for it. I'm sure your friend would appreciate it. What is your favorite thing to do with your family? Hey Abby, what's your favorite thing to do with your family? Definitely going to the beach. We always have a great time there. Oh, that sounds nice. My family loves to go on camping trips. We go hiking and roast marshmallows around the fire. That sounds like a lot of fun too. Have you ever tried going to the beach for a change? Yeah, we have. We enjoyed it, but camping is more of our thing. What about you, have you ever gone camping? Yes, I have, but I prefer the beach. It's just more relaxing to me. Yeah, I can see why. Maybe one day we can switch it up and go to the beach together. That sounds like a plan. What is your favorite thing to do with your friends? Hey Abby, what's up? Not much, just chilling. 
You. Same here. Hey, I was thinking, what's your favorite thing to do with friends? Hmm, probably just hang out at home, play video games or board games. Yeah, that's always fun. But personally, I love going to concerts with my friends. There's nothing like experiencing live music together. I see what you mean. I've only been to a few concerts, but they were pretty amazing. Who's your favorite artist to see live? Definitely 21 Pilots. I've seen them three times now and it's always an incredible show. Nice. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm sure it's an awesome experience. Have you ever traveled with your family? Hey, Abby. Have you ever traveled with your family? Yeah, a few times actually. We went to the beach last summer and we also visited some relatives in another state. Nice. I remember when I went to Disney World with my family. It was so much fun. That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to go there. You should definitely go there someday. It's worth it, trust me. I will definitely keep that in mind. Thanks for the recommendation, Alfie. Have you ever traveled with your friends? Hey Abby, have you ever traveled with your friends before? Yeah, a couple of times. It's always fun to discover new places with your buddies. I agree. I remember when we went to the beach last year with our friends, it was such a blast. I know, right? I loved the bonfire we had at night and the party on the beach the next day. Oh yeah. And let's not forget about the crazy night out we had at the club. It was epic. Haha <laughs> yeah, that was wild. We should plan another trip soon. Definitely. I was thinking about going on a road trip this time. What do you think? Sounds awesome. Count me in. What is the most important lesson you've learned from your family? Hey Abby, what's the most important lesson you've learned from your family? Hem, that's a tough one. I think the most important lesson I've learned is to always stay true to yourself and your values. That's a really great lesson. For me, it's definitely been the importance of hard work and determination. My parents always taught me that nothing worth having comes easy. Yeah, that's a good one too. I also learned from my family that family comes first and that you should always be there for each other no matter what. I totally agree. Family is everything. And speaking of family, we should plan a family gathering soon. That sounds like a great idea. Let's make it happen. Tell me about your family. Hey Abby, how's your family doing? They're doing great, thanks for asking. How about yours? We're all good too, thanks. My parents are enjoying their retirement and my sister is busy with her new job. That's awesome. Do you have any plans to visit them soon? Yeah, I'm actually planning to visit them next month. What about you? I'm hoping to visit my parents next week. It's been a while since I saw them. That's nice. Family time is always important. Absolutely. Family is everything. How many siblings do you have? Hey Abby, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I have two sisters. What about you? I have one brother. Is he older or younger? He's older. How about your brother? He's younger. So, you're the middle child? Yeah, I am. It's not always easy being in the middle, but I wouldn't trade my sisters for anything. I know what you mean. Having a sibling is a blessing. Absolutely.